to get into a new TV show. This is called The Lion Game. Now this came out back in the day. I can't remember what year it was, but it came out on ABC Family. Um, well, now it's called Freeform, but back then it was called ABC Family. And it was one of them shows that was so good, but got canceled too early. It was so good, y'all. I don't know why it got canceled. Like, this show was top tier. I'm like, I don't know if they didn't advertise it well enough. I don't know. Maybe it should have, maybe they should have put this, maybe they should have put this on TV. But this show was so good. I'm so mad that it got canceled. It was top tier. Now I have seen this before. I watched it before. I don't remember everything everything that happened, but I do I do remember some stuff. So I just want to clarify, I have seen this before, but I don't remember every little thing. So some stuff will come to a shock, but man, this is so good. And I feel like this show does not get enough credit because this show is so good. It don't get talked about a lot, but it was one of the shows that was really good. So we gonna get into it. Hey sis. Good run. I'm not your sister. Okay, foster sister. I like that better anyways. So many more possibilities. You're such a perv. You so read things into what I say. Yeah, That's so nasty. So. No, if you know, my twin sister. I still cannot get over this. Oh, it's been three months. For it. <laughs> I can't wait to finally meet you. The couple that adopt you sound really cool. I mean, they obviously love you. Then why do they lie to me? Well, maybe they're just trying to protect you. No, they want to protect themselves, okay? They lied. They knew that I had a twin and they didn't tell me. Why don't you just tell me? No, no, I'm going to tell you why. Because they did something horrible, Emma. But it's fine. Because I'm back. And I'm on it. And soon enough, I'm going to find out the answers. Okay? There's Sutton here? Luke, I'm afraid I have bad news. Sutton was killed in a tragic barge accident on the set, making me the last available Mercer female. Laurel, stop. Welcome home. How is Paris? I had a wonderful time. Nearly perfect. I thought she said she went to Phoenix. Do you believe Sutton turned down our day at the museum? Don't start, Mom. My mistake is because I'm different boyfriends. Daughters put away from her mothers. It's a natural birth growing up. We did the right thing. We did all we could. I wonder if, like, it was a thing of, like, they told... <laughs> I know I said I've seen this before, but I honestly can't remember. But I wonder if they told her that she was adopted and that's what made her want to find her real family. Like they, they told her way too late, you know, like instead of telling her when she was younger, they told her when she was like a lot older and now she's like, Oh, I want to find my real family. And then she found out she had a twin. I wonder if that's why she has an attitude. Like she's a little cold towards the mom. I know I said, I've seen this before, but I can't remember if that was the case or not. Like I said, I remember some things and I remember some other stuff, but all right. I missed you. Me too. Is that barely hard for me? I just was crazy busy and I got distracted. But even before you left, you were talking kind of weird. Look, it's just something I need to work out on my own. Kind of waste of time, isn't it? Miss Cole doesn't even have a tennis team. I don't know if you escaped this messed up life. Don't touch me. Why not? I mean, like, accept your situation. Mom, you don't have a mind. There's five and a half inches between your ears and it's basically empty. So just stay the hell away from me. Come on. Five hundred dollars, including a hundred dollar tip signed by none other than Mr. Bruce Willis himself. Who got into my kitty? I, I see what this is. Yeah, you're a club though. Come on, check her backpack. Come on, Clarice. Don't you get it? He took your money. He takes all the time. To my lucky penny, Clarice. Love, Bruce Willis. He took it. We're so fully quiet with you. So it's like instead of asking questions, trying to figure out who really, like who really did it, like you just assumed. Like I don't like that. Like obviously it. That was crazy. So you guys were great without me. Hey, Shar, how's your mom? Oh, great. How do we have detoxing? Getting to sleep? So no change, in other words. Damn, why okay. she have to? So I gotta ask. You and Thayer, you're never more than just friends, right? Thayer's your brother? No. He's your brother. He's like my brother. Sorry. <laughs> just curious. It's okay. Oh, she lying about it. My thing is like, you know, you got an older son, and he look like he about to be out of like. It's like why, why put in like why put a. You know, you got an older son with rage and hormones and stuff. Why adopt a a, a 
teenage older person and put them in the same house together. That don't even make sense. Like you can tell, you know, you can tell the mom probably was doing that just to get the money that comes with adopting kids. Emma, what's up? I'm coming to Phoenix tonight. There's an old night bus. Whoa, back up. Look, my, my pervy foster brother set me up and said I was stealing. I have nowhere else to go. Something there? Yeah, just thinking. I know that you said that you didn't want to spring this on your adopted family, but no, 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 that's okay. We'll work it out. What time is your bus getting? 8.50 a.m. Okay, yeah, I'll be there to pick you up at the station. Oh, they live in Phoenix. <laughs> I forgot. I'm like, didn't she say she was vacationing in Phoenix or something? But she lives in Phoenix. I forgot. I was so confused. It's you. It's me in the flesh. <laughs> well, the computer never felt real, you know? She ain't have to come. She ain't have to come for me like that. <laughs> Because I'm not acting mad anymore, you're like, oh, I love this new you. I love this. like, no, like, 
uh, I don't know. Do y'all get what I'm saying? It's, it's just, no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Family is a great thing. That's what I want in my life. That's what you've had your whole life. Hey, you know what? Let's just have fun. I see I work with this girl who who is adopted and me and her was just talking about that because I have said that I was thinking about you know one day in the future how I probably want to adopt kids or something like that and she was just letting me know like she had gotten to this awkward, um, altercation with another lady who was saying like oh well you got adopted you have a mom and a dad and you know other family members you should feel grateful and it was just like and, and you know she was just explaining to me how people always tell like adopted kids like how they should feel just because they got adopted and it's like that's an interesting point because it's like you don't know you don't know what goes on into someone's like you don't know what goes on to someone's house like even growing up like my mom like she always say what happened what happened in our house stays in our house like you know we don't talk about it so it's like what you don't know what's happening into somebody else's house for, for you to tell them what they should feel grateful for it's like you don't know it's like i could be you know speaking for like not trying to speak for her but like for, for what my from what my co-worker was saying it was like you don't know the life that i had you don't know the struggle that i'm going through and you don't know how you know i feel as an adoptive kid like you don't know that like yeah i got this family but it's like dang like what happened to my family like you know you don't know the abandonment someone feels for you to be telling somebody else that they should feel grateful you know that that's interesting i don't know i just thought about that when her dad said that like oh she was she was just like the family i wanted or the family that I wish I had, or something, whatever she said, and the dad was like, no, the family you have. It was like, relax, you know, just relax. It's interesting because Emma, like, you know, she hasn't had that, even from her adopted mom that she just ran away from, like, you can tell that they didn't have no connection. And now it seems like she's about to have the connection with Sutton's adopted family, you know? I would have had to woke up early just just to just to try on everything. Like, dang man, <sighs> I, I know exactly what she's talking about. Like, I'll be like, this shoe goes with that shoe, this guy goes with that skirt, and that skirt goes with that skirt, and this guy can go with this. Guy. Like, oh uh, man, I'll just be in there having a good time. I would have woke up at like what four, five in the morning just to do that. Two pancakes, you refuse to touch them. Pancakes, strictly. You're voting on the sudden meaning fight machine type. As a fussy baby, very defiant. Did you guys want one kid or two? I, uh, I don't. I just meant, was I supposed to be an only child? Yes. We adopted you, and then Laura was a surprise. It was supposed to be impossible. Just like that, you had the complete family. The crazy thing is, I don't even think Emma meant that as an attack on her. I think she just meant that like, dang, like, you didn't even like, it was like, I get, for her, it was like, dang, I don't have this family. And it's like, you just got the complete package out of nowhere. You know, it's like, I feel like it meant something different than what, than what the mom took it as. Cause the mom's so used to used to she's so used to insults where Emma is like, dang, like I didn't I didn't have a complete family, you know? Dang man. Oh yes, Scottsdale zone, even my horse. Most likely guy in high school to get in serious trouble most unlikely guy to have a brother who's a cop. Alright, later sis. I don't see you the lucky please. The only thing I gotta say about her outfit is that the purse don't match. That's the only thing I gotta say. Like that pink with like the beige pink and a white is throwing it off with that all black look. She definitely should have got either a solid white bag or like a black and white or I don't know. Maybe a gold too to go with the chains. But that that pink and stuff is throwing that outfit off. So are we still a couple? Because I know sometimes I kind of think that you take us for granted. I really appreciate you and appreciate this. I would be crazy to take it for granted. 
I don't even remember him. I don't think he sticks around. <laughs> I don't remember him at all. Because I'm like, I don't remember this dude at all. Like, is he throughout the seat? Like, I could not remember him. I'm like, I remember uh, Ethan's character. I remember him. But, like, I don't remember old dude. Like, what happened to this dude? He was making out with the enemy. Enemy. I cannot speak. Enemy. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? I can't talk. Ugh. You can't let someone do that to you. And the alternative would be to pretend you didn't see anything. It's right. And leaving something out is a lie. Some people say that. I think a lie's a lie, but the reasons are reasonable. Why'd you look at guilty? Maybe I can forgive the lie. Wait, do they think they gave Emma up? I love you so much, son. We chose you. We would do anything for you. And I think... Wait, is, is Sutton mad because they didn't... They didn't... They didn't take Emma in either? Is that why she mad? Or is she just mad because they... I don't wait. I'm, I'm confused on what she ran around. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember, y'all. I got bad memory. Real quick, the sister outfit. I don't like the red. I don't like that red dress. It's giving. It's giving. I'm like. I just don't like it. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's something about it that's off. I don't like it at all. Uh, maybe it just doesn't look right on her. Don't get me wrong, she's very pretty, but I just don't like the I don't like the dress on her. I don't like that dress for her. Uh what is her name? Max? Was it Maxine or something? Max? I I can't remember her name. The girl with the white at the top, that's pretty. I like uh, other girl's belt. I like that belt to complement the black dress with the uh and then the heels that's matching the belt. I like that. I like Sutton's outfit, or Emma, I should say, Emma's outfit. I just don't like the, I don't like the red dress. Something about it. So here's me, Chef, okay? That's tennis sports. So how long has that been going on? All summer or just inside the back? I'm going to vote all summer. Sutton, you're avoiding me. You were you distracted. So what was that today? Your lips just accidentally ran into me, Hey, she kissed me, and I, I told her it was over, and it was a summer thing, and when I talked, remember? No, I him. She doesn't give a crap about you. You want nothing today. You got lucky. You have never been in my league, and you never will be. Oh, you know what, Nisha? I have known people like you my entire life. In fact, I have actually wanted to be like you at one point. But all you do is put people down, and somehow you think that that makes you better than anybody else. At least, does it make me a poser? What? Truth is, you were abandoned, son. Even your real mother didn't want you. Yeah! Yeah! No, out of my car. Get out. Why didn't you know you were here? I'm right, aren't I? You're not Sutton, you're someone else. You're my ass. See Sutton, never say that. Or that. Or that. No way. Or that. I am Sutton. S U T T. Spread. Alright, you're Sutton, fine. Prove it. Prove you're Sutton. Answer me one question. Who's your boyfriend? Luke Coburn is my boyfriend. Or at least was. Or never was. I'm Sutton's boyfriend. Sutton and I haven't seen each other for nearly a year. We texted the entire time she was in Paris and Skyped and talked. And I had a feeling about you the first time I saw you. Then on the court with Nisha. And you accused me of being a stalker and a kiss just now. You might look like her. You'll kiss later. Now she she didn't have to say that. Yeah. As soon as you tell me where the real Sutton is. You're looking at her. And now you're looking at her walking away. Now he ain't have to say that. <laughs> Talk about you don't kiss like her. <laughs> no, I kiss like me. You kiss me, okay? 
Out of my face. Out of my face. What Brenda say? Adopted brother, I broke in. The laptop's on. You left the party early. I'm racing. I went walking. Did I just tell you that? Cool night here in LA. This is for all the lonely people. <gasps> I think the, I think it was the, um, I think it was the, um, the adopted brother was the one who broke in and stole the uh, laptop, but I can't honestly can't remember if he did it or not. I'm pretty positive it was him, or it might have been Sutton who stole her. I don't know. I have no clue, y'all. I can't honestly. I just remember it being a good show, but I can't remember the details of like what. I remember some details, and I'm trying not to spoil like those specific details, but I can't remember like other stuff. Like I just can't remember it, but. I told you I was a good show. I don't know. I I liked the first episode. For it to be a, a pilot episode, I feel like that was that was good. And I don't know why this show canceled. It was so good to me. But all right, let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. Cause I like the show and I'm gonna keep watching it. So I hope y'all like it too. All right, I'll see you when I see y'all.